Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online and in today's video I'm going to uh, explain a little bit uh, about some stuff that you can do to try and avoid the traps that are usually sprung uh, by us in the wormhole uh, to explorers. So um, some people, you know, they, they feel kind of bad whenever I kill an explorer, but you have to understand some things. First of all, um, whenever someone goes in a wormhole, uh, they have to be of the mindset that whatever they fly, they lose uh, or they should be willing to lose. You know, that's rule number one in EVE Online. Only fly what you can afford to lose. And so uh, from that point of view, honestly, you shouldn't feel bad about these guys. They know the risks. They come into a wormhole. And uh, well, sometimes that means that you'll lose your ship. Uh, the potential payoff of like one good relic site is like a multitude of the value of their ship usually. So yeah, don't feel bad about that. How boring would EVE Online be without the destruction part of the economy? You know, EVE Online is all about creation, but also about destruction. And both of those have to be in balance if the game wants to maintain some form of value. So... What can you do though uh, to try and make these exploration trips in a wormhole a little bit safer? So let's say that uh, like me here you you just entered the wormhole, you actually found a relic site, a Serpentis relic site that could be interesting to run. What could you do? First of all, you could actually uh, try and descan the entire system a little bit uh, to see if there's any sign of other activity. Um, this is pretty important here, for instance, the wormhole is close to our POS, so close to planet 6. And um, it just takes a little bit of time, but if anyone else is active in the system, and it's a pretty big system like ours, checking a few of the planets uh, while pressing this scan here, for instance, planet 2 is a pretty core system. So you've got the center of the entire solar system that you've just done some descanning on. And I know, for instance, in this wormhole, if I go to planet 5 uh, and then planet 6, which is where we come from, you've pretty much checked the entire system for activity. So let's quickly go over to planet 5, do some descanning there as well. Uh, if you want an idea, you know, your, your descan is usually like 14 kilometers, uh, 14 AU, I'm sorry, in, in range. Um, and then if you hover over a planet, you can actually see some ranges, 27 AU. Um, and then here now we are arriving at planet 5. And then here, for instance, uh, planet 6, where we actually initially come from, is 75 AU. So that is, for instance, a planet that you definitely want to check uh, if you still have to do some de scanning over there. Everything seems clear, so that's a good sign, of course. Uh, what you can do as well is, of course, uh, work on your fit here, for instance. I've got a fit that should help me escape one uh, point. So let me see, ship fitting right here. Yeah, just... Either fit some, some stabilizers in there if you're not entirely sure or uh, fit uh, your ship with some combat capability, a few launchers, a few drones, stuff like that. Uh, an Astero, for instance, should be able to handle a Nemesis solo. So uh, if it's fit with some tank and some, some damaged drones, it should be possible. So yeah, your fit, that's uh, the second thing. First of all, try and descan the entire system. Then make sure you have a plan with your fit. This is an escape fit, of course, if I do get attacked i should try to get out of there as quickly as i can or you can choose to fight and then uh, a final tip something that you can do let's let's warp over to the relic site uh, and see um, if anything is happening over there but you can always check the kill boards and that's probably one of the best ideas to do you can go for like if kill which is one that i've got bookmarked um, and then you can do a search for the system you're in let's see here j one four four two two eight do a quick search and here you go you've got the kills over the last few months and as you can see there is some explorer killing going on um and it is usually between uh 1730 1800 if time and like 2200 if time 2340 uh, is like the latest but this gives you an idea of the activity uh, are people hunting for explorers in there and yeah, when is the time zone? What is the time zone that the those guys seem to be active? Uh, just from looking at the kill board on the system, it should give you a good idea of when we are here and when we're doing our hunting. So that's, I guess, the final tip of, of what you can do in preparation uh, whenever you find uh, what could potentially be a good site for you to, um, 
to do in a wormhole yeah number one make sure you've done a pass on the entire system with your d-scan number two have a feet ready that that you can either uh, try to flee away or you can try to fight that's up to you um, and then finally yeah check the kill board you know it's it doesn't take that long as i've just shown you and it will give you a good idea of who lives there uh, and uh, are they active pvpers do they hunt for explorers and when are they active the most that's pretty much all you can do of course this is not foolproof but i do think it can give you a good indication after that of course uh, once you are in the site you've committed to doing him well the only other tip i've got left for you is uh, do them as quickly as you can so just head towards that first container as fast as you can um i try to orbit them as well so let's go this can again should no it's actually only at 49 kilometers okay so here we go well again not oh 20 kilometers now must be this the, the uh, warp core stabilizers that uh, that are doing this i usually uh, am able to um to target those a little bit sooner anyways here we go let's uh, approach this first container right here and uh yeah let's quickly do the site but those were basically the tips of some st stuff some things that you can do to try and make your exploration runs a little bit safer so here we go we're approaching the first ruins uh, ruins we've got two of them which are like red cores and potentially some good loot so let's also keep an eye on these scan of course that's something you definitely want to do and here we go we're in range let's start the hack hopefully i'm successful i would gamble that the core could be close to this point over here so let's use this one there oh my god that's a lot of this stuff and now that one can be gotten rid of pretty cheaply uh, but no nope, nothing to be seen here that's quite annoying uh, let's kill this okay this is definitely not good another eye on this can I need to like find the core here all of a sudden um i'll gamble on this one let's see oh that's bad that's better but yeah as you can see there's not a lot left for me to do so that's that's a failed hack yeah those ruins they can be pretty tricky let's give it a second try here this can nope oh that's a good one you gotta be gone as fast as possible uh, that's really good uh, let's get rid of that let's use him uh, let's hope that the core is indeed somewhere at the back here god damn it that's bad okay goodbye yeah here it is okay scan and grab and that's a little bit disappointing let's see if we can find the other ruins here orbit at 1000 activate afterburner for speed and yeah just keep checking that this can but doing those first steps that i've shown to you guys should give you a good idea whether or not uh, you are in a high risk situation and uh, from there yeah just be careful uh, you can also of course take a cheaper ship uh, if you think that you are at risk and oh man that one is going to force me <laughs> oh jesus christ that's not a good start here let's check this out uh, the other side is, oh i thought that was a ruin i guess it's not okay kind of disappointing here again ruin ruin hmm, it's actually at 40. let's start with uh, with a close one then that one this can still seems clear okay and that one is in range let's go get, uh, get rid of that as soon as possible and again i would gamble the back um, part here maybe we'll get rid of him Okay, not there 
Uh, let's see, is this anything good? That is, so that's really good. I can get rid of this one. There is the core, here we go. Quick check of this can again. And, oh my god, this is pretty damn disappointing. Maybe I should have just kept that as a trap. Uh, we'll start with you. Or with that a thousand, keep going. Activate the afterburner. Maybe if you listen closely, you could see it spool up there uh, or hear it spool up there. Little whining sound, but yeah. Um, just try and do this as fast as you can. Try and stay in motion as well. Uh, having some initial velocity, especially when you're planning to escape. Uh, you you got to be a little bit lucky that uh, you choose a warp out point that you are actually aligned to at that moment. But being at speed... You know, it does mean that you could be gone a few seconds sooner. And so that's, uh, of course, something pretty damn good. Uh, God damn it. Let's see if I can pass overhead. No, I can't. Then we'll get rid of you. And just get rid of you as well. Just try to push through to the other side. Side of the side is maybe what I should say. All right, then. This is, this is actually, again, pretty bad. I would gamble... That the core is here somewhere. Yep, there it is. And that were a lot of uh, problems. And oh my god, 88,000. That's really bad. Alright, you're next. Activate afterburner. Maybe a micro up drive, but that does cost a little bit more when it comes to the fitting. Or be that 1,000. But uh, yeah, this looks okay. Uh, not the loot <laughs> so far, I, I gotta say. Um, but the run seems to be decently safe at the moment. Of course, it being my own wormhole, I've got a little bit of an advantage. That is true. But still, hopefully those tips can, can help some, uh, some explorers out there. Maybe try and avoid a few of the traps. So here we go. Next one. Um, all right, let's try to cross over here and whoop, straight on to some annoying things here. So I'll, I'll get rid of him because that would be my guess. Yep, again, there we go. And 1.5 million, at least it's something. And then here is the final one. Quick burst of the afterburner. This actually took a little bit longer than I expected some of them. I uh, have some pretty long distances in between uh, scanning containers. Oh, and oh, it's I thought it was maybe something, uh, another ruin, but it's actually another rubble that's actually empty. So yeah, there you go. Uh, let's quickly go to the drop, of course. You don't want to linger around too long after you've finished the site. Uh, but um, yeah, this was the worst relic site I've had in the wormhole so far. <laughs> that's really not been the most um, the most rewarding one. But there you go, guys. A quick video with uh, some tips as well on how you could try to do this exploration a little bit safer. Try and avoid the traps that we usually try and set. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.